Hello everyone, Ken here. Data science is a quickly growing field that promises high salaries as well as interesting problems to work on. In this video, I'm going to help you determine if this field might be a good fit for you. As usual, if you find this video interesting, please hit that like button. And if you want to see similar content to this, please subscribe to my channel. Now I'm going to go through the five questions that I think you should ask yourself to evaluate if data science is for you. The first one is, are you prepared to invest a significant amount of time into learning the necessary skills? A lot of data scientists have advanced degrees. A lot of data scientists have spent years learning, you know, math, statistics, calculus, linear algebra, computer science, and different programming languages, different techniques as well as the ability to communicate in a business setting. So there are these three disciplines that kind of merge in data science, and you have to be constantly learning to adapt the skill set. Learning in data science doesn't end with school or doesn't end when you get a job. You also have to continually learn. You have to be keeping up to date with the newest technologies, the newest algorithms, etc., and you always have to be implementing them. So you have to consider and ask yourself, am I ready to invest a lot of time in learning now? And can I continue to do that in the future? If you're willing to put in that time and that effort and perhaps that money to do so, then data science could be a good fit for you. The second question that you should ask yourself is, do you have the ability and initiative to seek out problems and find solutions to them? I see in a lot of threads and a lot of different data science communities, people are constantly asking for progress, pro projects. What should I work on now? What should I work on next? And part of being a, a data scientist is having the creativity to say, hey, this is a problem that I, I, I have identified. I think that I can find a solution using data science and I go out of my way to learn the steps. In most scenarios, people aren't going to have the answers you're going to have to go out and find them. You're going to have to do a lot of Google searches. You're going to have to go through Stack Overflow. You're going to have to be combing through, uh, you know, Kaggle resources to see different ways of doing things. And, you know, here, a really, really important thing is being unafraid to do this yourself. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to go out and find a mentor and do things like that. But you have to be a self-starter. You have to be able to go in and identify what this problem is and know that you can come to a solution, you can find a solution that will be valuable to yourself and to other people. The third thing that I believe is important is that you have to have at least some aptitude for math. Data science is fairly rigorous on the math side. You have to understand statistics, again, you have to understand calculus, you have to understand linear algebra, you have to understand some elements of discrete math. and that is what, in my opinion, the field has built its foundation on. So you can't, you, you have to make certain assumptions, you have to run your tests with some academic rigor, or else you can't depend on your results. So, you know, my background, honestly, I didn't start out very strong in math. In very early in my college career, I got a D in calculus, but since then, I've really taken a liking to it. I've really developed my skills and, I, and I've gotten very comfortable with it. So as long as you, you know, for example, I, I turned my, my math knowledge and understanding around, but as long as you're comfortable there, as long as you believe you can, you've created a, a foundation of math that you can build on, I think that you can be set up for success in this field. The fourth question I think you should ask yourself is, are you interested in programming? Are you interested in computer science? And can you learn these skills quickly? So my, my background is I have a master's in computer science. And the biggest thing that I learned from that degree is how to pick something up quickly, how to understand the fundamentals of a language, how to understand the fundamentals of a package that someone else wrote, and to be able to implement that uh, with some skill. Now, data science is constantly changing. There's new packages, that there's new platforms that we're using on a day-to-day -day basis. And you have to be able to pick these up. You have to be interested in how they work because you never know what tool or what platform is gonna be the best for the use case that you have. 
if you're having multiple projects, if your projects are changing over time, you're really gonna wanna be able to get used to using different tools on a day-to-day -day basis. The last question I would ask yourself is, do you have a knack for storytelling and breaking down complex concepts into simple terms? A lot of the times as a data scientist, you're gonna do a really cool and in-depth analysis, but you're gonna to have to explain it to business users who are actually gonna do some form of implementation with it. So make sure that you can take this, this concept, this work that you've done and put it in layman's terms. That to me is one of the most important elements. You also have to be able to weave a narrative around it to explain why the work that you're doing is gonna create value, usually in financial terms, but in any other uh, you know, value-oriented terms that you might have. To me, many of these questions are focused on skills that you can learn over time, but you have to have the interest, you have to have the motivation, and you have to have the stick to to really go through this process. Data science, getting into the field, is not something that happens quickly. It takes, again, a lot of time and effort and a lot of consistent focus on a certain group of things. So, you know, as much as the field is interesting and sexy, it is not, it is accompanied by hard work. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.